everybody, my name's Sam and I'm an alcohol. Oh fuck, this is the wrong meeting. <laughs> Damn. Um, I actually have a couple things that, um, to read. And the poem that I, that I sent Lewis for, uh, for Valentine's Day for my lovers, um, it's sort of my anti-Valentine's. Cause you know, she's, well, you know, she started off kind of jaded. She got cynical and now she's bitter. She's just bitter. Um, so this is for my lovers. You want me to go mad a bit? To scream, tear up my hair a bit? I've been asking why of it, but why never came into this shit? You were you, I was me. We played let's pretend, now I see. There I was, dying slow. I could never, never tell you no here. Were you? Living fast, please, please respond at last. I should know better than to ask. Our fates are sealed, the die is cast. Le jeu est fait, we said in French. Blood spills the floor, drenched. Who was it one day that I'll ask that old wench? Will you laugh before the reply some old fag who got me high? I could shriek, you broke my heart. But we both played our part. Fact is the stupid thing gave out long before our first fatal shout. So take these words, wrap them in your guitar chords, make a song, make a sky, just, just look me in the eye. You were me, and I was you. Our empty game would never do. Time's up. The dance is done. I'm here, you're there. Our game is lost. Or perhaps it's won. Um, so this may not stick with the Mardi Gras theme, but I have been to rehab. <laughs> um, I'm glad you guys laughed at that. Um, like, I thought it was super funny. Um, but this is kind of an elegy um, to somebody that um, I hooked up with when I, when I was very deep in my, uh, in my addiction. And the setup is kind of sad. I was living, and I say living, in one of these fuckbox motels on uh, Chef Highway. And, <sighs> okay, bitch, you're in the story now. So I sucked this man's dick for $20. And I went to rinse my mouth out with this half empty beer bottle that was still in my hotel room. And after I spit out that ugly bitch has come and that beer out of my mouth, I broke the bottle and I was about to stick it into my neck. But then I said to myself, girl, if you suck this man's dick for $20 and you don't spend this $20, it's like you did that shit for free bitch and that's stupid. <laughs> so in my wisdom, I went to my crack dealer's hotel room where I met the man who would become the love of my life up to that point. It was a lot more fucking painful. I can just tell you that. And this is true for Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan, dear Jonathan, now you're gone again into that dark night, though we never slept, at least not for long. A few moments of still semi consciousness, consciousness, consciousness was enough for you. Then you were off again, my precious, precious Jonathan, back on the bike. Always looking for more, more, more. Nothing was enough. Too much was the unattainable, the unavailable goal to fill your hole, the one in your ass, the one in your soul. I loved you so much. I loved you so well. Perhaps only as much as I could because the poison, that poison we shared made sure that that love was never, never any good.